Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay ang tinatawag na division of polynomials. Sa pag-divide ng polynomials, so meron tayong dalawang paraan. So uunahin natin sa araling ito kung paano mag-divide gamit ang long division. So meron tayong anim na step. Okay, so sa araling ito, iisa-isayin natin yung anim na step. First step, arrange the terms of the dividend and divisor in decreasing powers. Replace the missing terms with zero. So let us have an example. So let's say we have x plus 2x squared plus 18 divided by x plus 2. So if you will notice, ang ating... Uh, dividend ay hindi pa nakasulat in standard form. So, we have to arrange the uh, dividend in decreasing powers of x. So, pwede nating isulat as 2x squared plus x plus 18 divided by x plus 2. Okay, so next step, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. This gives the first term of the quotient. So, ito yung ating first term ng dividend. So, i-divide natin siya sa first term ng ating divisor. 2x squared divided by x is equal to 2x. So, if you will notice mga classmates, Sinulat ko si 2x align dito kay x since sila ay parehas ng degree. So, after dividing, so yun daw yung uh, magiging first term ng ating quotient which is 2x. Okay, so proceed tayo sa next step. For the third step, multiply the divisor by the given first term of the quotient. So, ang ating divisor x plus 2, umumultiply natin sa 2x. Okay, so we have 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times 2 is equal to positive 4x. Okay, so next step. Subtract the product from the dividend and bring down the next term of the dividend. So, sa third step natin, kapag multiply tayo, so this time, subtraction naman. So, we have to subtract the product to the dividend. So, we can now subtract x minus 4x. So, this will give us negative 3x. 2x squared minus 2x squared so ito ay pwede na nating i-cancel because this will give us 0 and then bring down the next term of the dividend so we have to bring down positive 18 okay so ang ating panglimang step repeat the entire process until the remainder is 0 or the degree is less than the divisor so, unahin, ulitin natin yung step mula uh, step 2 hanggang step 4. So, muli, itong negative 3x, i-divide natin sa x. So, negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. And then, repeat step 3. So, multiply natin 3 times x or negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then, subtract. So, 18 minus negative 6 will give us positive 24. Negative 3x minus negative 3x. So, muli ito ay makakancel. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating naging remainder ay degree 0. So, ibig sabihin... Ito na yung uh, last step o ito na yung uh, remainder ng ating quotient. 
Okay. So, pwede na nating isulat yung ating uh, sagot as P of X over D of X equals to Q of X plus R all over D of X. So, ano ba ang P of X? So, P of X, ito yung ating dividend. So, ang D of X, ito yung ating divisor. Ang Q of X, ito yung quotient. Ang R, ang remainder. At ang D of X muli ay yung ating divisor. Okay, so pwede na nating isulat. So we have P of X. 2X squared plus X plus 18 divided by X plus 2 is equal to So, balikan lang natin yung naging sagot. Ang quotient natin ay 2x minus 3. So, we have 2x minus 3 plus, so ang ating remainder ay positive 24. 24 all over x plus 2. Okay, so that's it. Let's have another one. So let's say we have x cubed minus 7x plus 2 divided by x plus 2. So in this case, iisa-isahin uli natin yung step. So ang unang step is to write the dividend in decreasing power. So we have x cubed. Since wala tayong uh, term na degree 2, so papalitan natin siya 0. Then, degree 1 is 7x plus 2 divided by x plus 2. Okay, second step natin. So, ang first term natin, x cubed divided by x So, will give us x squared. And then, multiply x squared to x plus 2. We have x squared times x, x cubed. x squared times 2. We have 2x squared. Okay, subtract natin. So, 0 minus 2x squared is negative 2x squared. So, ito ay makakancel kasi x cubed minus x cubed is 0. And then, bring down another term from the dividend. So, we have minus 7x. Then, ulitin lang natin yung process. So, negative 2x squared divided by x will give us negative 2x. Negative 2x times x. We have negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 2, we have negative 4x. Then, proceed ulit tayo sa subtraction. So, ito, makakancel. Negative 7x minus negative 4x, we have negative 3x. And then, bring down positive 2. So, pwede pa tayong mag-divide since ang ating... Uh, Naging sagot ay degree 1. So, negative 3x divided by x, negative 3. Then, negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times uh, 2 is negative 6. Okay, subtraction ulit. So, ito makakancel. So, 2 minus negative 6 will give us positive 8. So, in this case, eto na yung ating remainder. So, our answer, when we divide x cubed minus 7x plus 2 by x plus 2 is equal to we have ang quotient natin is x squared minus 2x minus 3. So, ang remainder natin ay 8 all over x plus 2. Okay. So, that's it. 
So, I hope ay uh, marami kayong natutunan sa division ng polynomial gamit ang long method o yung tinatawag natin na long cut. Okay. So, until next time.